Hey everyone, Julie here. Today I'd like to share with you an interview I did with my one of my students, uh, Hannah, who is a linguist and she works at Google. So she is super knowledgeable about you know languages and language acquisition and learning. Um, and I asked her whether she, whether she thought that technology could replace language learning, meaning are we one day going to be able to communicate with other human beings who do not speak the same languages as we do with technology? So here is her answer. I think, well, so, um, so yes, thank you for having me. Um, <laughs> I am a professional linguist actually working at Google, not on Google Translate, um, but I would say even though it's a wonderful tool um, and it has been very useful for you know lots and lots of people, um, I'd, I'd say there's still incredible benefit to learning a language um, yourself, I think, Google Translate can only go so far still right now, even after all the advances. Um, it doesn't um, have a lot of the nuances that natural language um, natural languages have still. Um, and I think we discussed this once before too, for like less common languages, um, the, the data really isn't quite there to like be able to translate in Google Translate as fluently um, as between the more common languages. So, you know, English, the Romance languages, um, Chinese. Um, so, um, and, and then there's just so many more rewarding things about learning a language oneself. Um, and I think connection with other people, like actually engaging with other people um, is, you know, even if you're, even if your level of the language is like not that great is still, um, uh, more rewarding than just you know going through an app <laughs> mm -hmm. do, do you think because I've discussed this with another student um, he was into uh, developing and I'm not really lucky sure because I don't know anything about this industry yeah. and he, he was telling me that he genuinely believes in the future you know apps and and technology in general will be able to replace the you know the language learning ability. I mean, you know, like we won't need to learn a language anymore because we'll be able mm -hmm. to really communicate without speaking the same language at all. Um, do you think technology will get there one day or do you think it's not possible? I think it's possible one day. Um, I don't think that one day is in the super near future. Right. <laughs> um, I think, I mean, I've been in like the language technology industry on and off for over 10 years. And um, I started out, my first job was at like a language translation company. Um, and so I can see like the technology has definitely come very, very far, um, even just like in Google Translate, for example, but um, in the last few years, but like there's still so much natural language is so, so complex and human brains are so, so complex. Um, and just complex in a different way that computers are complex and, and, um, and so I think like in terms of basically like humans understanding of world knowledge, like basically, yeah, world knowledge, understanding, understanding of pragmatics, which is like context and ability to kind of subtly understand the cues of, you know, like, um, um, body and facial cues in terms of communication, all of those things are not very easily captured um, by the current technology still. So I think it's, I think we still have quite a while before that's um, anywhere near reality. Uh-huh, because that's what I was telling him, you know, it, but also because it, it, I got a bit, you know, um, personal about it because <laughs> I felt like, no, you know, languages can never be learning languages can never be replaced by technology because it's so much more than just learning just saying words you know it's obviously with body language there's um even in a more holistic way you know there's kind of the energy you have and your behavior and or even sarcasm for example how how would technology convey sarcasm you know it's it's hard yeah and and also, if I'm not mistaken, I think that, for example, in the UN, they're not using technology yet. They still use um, interpreters, interprets. I don't know how you said it in English. Mm -hmm. uh, Interpreter. uh, um, because there are just some things that technology 
just yeah. doesn't translate and it's crucial to have the human intelligence behind the translation process yeah. so I, I i hope that technology will never uh, replace learning a language but yeah yeah i hope so too because then we'll, a lot of us will be out of jobs but we're, <laughs> we make jokes that we're like you know the work we're doing now is basically like we're working ourselves out of jobs but it, i think it's still like uh you know far and farther in the future yeah. um yeah, what you said about sarcasm, like, is a perfect example of something that is very difficult. It's like um, sentiment analysis as a whole field in, like, um, mm -hmm. in in artificial intelligence and natural language understanding that is um, fascinating, but, like, very difficult. And there's a super um, common example we use in the field um, about how it's so difficult for, like, computers and machine learning to capture the subtleties of natural language, which is um, about a thing called implicature, which is like, you know, what you're implying by what you say. So if someone says you're in a room with someone else and they say, oh, um, you see, uh, it's cold in here and there's an open window, the other person can can kind of easily interpret that as a request to close the window. Mm -hmm. But saying it's cold in here is is not saying close the window. It's like a couple steps of implicature away from that meaning. But it's very easy for the other person as a another human who under, you know has natural language as well to make that leap. And it's very hard to um, to accumulate all of that world knowledge and build structures in um in technologies to like capture those leaps so mm -hmm. yeah yeah i mean it is hard enough already as as a human learning another language and being thrown in another culture like for example when i was in the uk it really um it, it got to me at some point because i never knew if people were being polite or if they <laughs> genuinely wanted to do something so they would always be like yeah that sounds awesome but i never mm -hmm. really knew if they wanted to actually join me on my you know event or whatever or if they just wanted to say no without and i don't see how technology could understand all that i don't know, I don't know. yeah cultural cultural nuances too, mm -hmm. like make you know are present in language as well and so for yeah. each culture Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so interesting. That's it for today. I hope this was interesting and it answers some of your questions. Don't forget to go and check out Hannah's blog. It is uh, it is in the description, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video and yada yada yada. Um, especially if you find these type of interviews or videos interesting. Um, if you like this video a lot, then I will make more of those and I will find more people to kind of bust all the language learning myths. Um, so yeah. That's it for today. I will see you very soon. Bye.